The Apollo Neuro is an excellent device to have in your heart rate variability boosting toolkit, but are you using it to its full potential? And also, if you've never heard of the Apollo Neuro, I'll be doing a brief review of the product, followed by some great tips that you can use to get the most value from the product. So what exactly is the Apollo Neuro? The Apollo Neuro is a wearable you would wear typically on your hand, kind of like a watch, also on the side of your ankle, and it will send these semi-gentle vibrations to your body that signals to your nervous system that you're safe, that it should be calm, that there's no danger or threats. This product was created by neuroscientists and they have not been stingy with the research that they've done and been sharing on their website. So there's a good amount of legitimacy to this product. The app comes with different modes that you can set. Now, some of the modes are actually not exactly relaxing. For example, the morning wake up mode is supposed to give you a similar sensation that you would from a jolt of caffeine from coffee so that you no longer have to rely on coffee. Whereas the more social mode is going to put you in a kind of a relaxed state, but at the same time, you're energized as well, or at least that's the idea behind them. But also, there's modes like meditation and sleep, which are obviously very, very relaxing. So now that we have the basics out of the way, let's talk about how to optimize and get the most out of your Apollo Neuro. I think this video is to be used as medical advice. Always consult with your doctor, especially if you have a medical condition. First is using it repeatedly over and over and over. Now, as somebody who's a part of the Apollo Neuro Facebook group, I've lost count of how many people tried it a couple of times and said, oh my God, this thing sucks. It's useless. It doesn't work. Let's set aside the fact that even on their website, they mention that you need to be using it repeatedly, but they do mention that you need to use it maybe a couple of hours a day. But honestly, if you want to get the most out of this product, you need to be using it literally like all day, especially at first, in the first month or so, while your physiology is still getting used to the vibrations and how good they feel. And to make this even easier for you, Apollo has recently added a scheduling feature to their app. So you literally just have to program this in once and then it'll just keep running these programs for you throughout the day, making it super easy for your physiology to get used to the Apollo. This next tip, if you are an interoception god or goddess, you can just go ahead and skip it. But for the rest of us, I would highly advise you to get a heart rate variability monitor, a continuous one. My two favorites are Leaf and Polar H10, and I will link a video where I do a comparison of them in the description. Knowing your heart rate variability as you adjust the settings of each of the kind of modes will let you know which vibration setting is giving you the highest HRV and is putting your nervous system into rest and digest mode the best. Otherwise, you are completely guessing and most people will not be able to figure this out without some sort of extra tech letting them know and confirming it. On a similar note, another big mistake you could be making is not using a heart rate variability monitor to determine where you should be placing the Apollo Neuro. So once again, we have inside of the wrists on each arm and then inside of the ankle of each leg. And a fifth place that you might not have even be aware of is placing it by your thymus and having it vibrate there, which has been my absolute personal favorite. And that's why I have a necklace holding my Apollo. And what you're about to see is my heart rate variability numbers when I compare it to my thymus and my inner wrist right hand, left hand, right leg inner ankle, and left leg inner ankle. And as you can see, there is a huge increase in heart rate variability when I place it on my thymus. And I've been able to replicate this experiment repeatedly. So I really urge you to do the same experiment if you're able to, because otherwise you're just completely guessing which area of your body you should be placing your Apollo. And finally, the last mistake that I'd like you to avoid making is assuming that the program names such as meditation or relax and unwind are actually going to do what they say they will for your unique physiology. So for example, 
I've tried meditating with the meditation mode and it absolutely killed my HRV and I was not having a good meditation at all. So I had to, again, as usual, experiment, try different modes until I found one that would consistently raise my HRV. And the last really important tip that I'd like to leave you guys with is to not rely on the wristband on its own. The wristband is really bad because it uses Velcro and this Velcro can fall apart at any moment. So what I recommend is actually getting a black paper clip and putting it like this. This will help keep the Velcro there and you won't lose your $350 device. So you're welcome. So overall, this device does get two thumbs up from me. It has helped me when my anxiety levels were anywhere between like low and medium. But to be honest, when anxiety or panic attacks were going crazy some time ago, I did not get that much relief from the Apollo. Instead, I was using the touch points wearables in addition to uh, therapy, and I was getting a lot more relief from that. And I will link to the video review of that product as well if you want to check that out. All right, hope that was helpful. Much love to everybody. Take care.